Can a great game be made better? Do informational counters have more fun than unit counters? Find out that and much more in this episode. So with our comparison, let's take a look at the uh, first edition map. Uh, this is it here, uh, uh, featuring the uh, town of Ligny and the river. Uh, it's a nice map, and it looks like the scale of the map is pretty much the same as the new one. Um, the one thing that seems to be different uh, is that the level of detail in the newer map is much more significant. Um, you've got the little uh, town hexes are much clearer. Uh, they have a lot more sort of individual personality to them. And the uh, riverbanks a little bit uh, look a little bit more swampy which I think was appropriate uh, for this time of year and for that section of Belgium. Um, and the trees themselves have more uh, variations to them than the older map had. Um, but still, uh, comparing the two maps, um, both the older map and the newer map uh, were both, both very nice and, uh, and very pleasant. Now, where we can see Clash of Arms has made a big improvement from the 1991 first edition and the second edition is looking at the order of battle display. Um, this is the uh, first edition one. As you can see, it's basically in grayscale and um, nothing's labeled very well. And the challenge that you have as a player trying to set things up is when you have um, units that are like a dark print on a dark background, it's kind of hard to know what you're looking at there. Um, and so this always made it a little bit problematic trying to set up your units. Plus, a lot of times the leaders have very similar looks to the counters, and so without them being labeled on the, uh, on the order of battle, it's hard sometimes to track down who's who and get them with the right units. Now the newer game, as you can see, has They've corrected that. Um, they've got the uh, units uh, printed in color here on the order of battle. They've got the different um, uh, regimental and division uh, formations printed out. And then what's very nice is that they have the names of the individual generals and ADCs uh, listed. Um, so you can make sure you get the right person with the right uh, formation. So much, much uh, improved from the first edition. Now, another area of improvement is in the exclusive rules and historic commentary. This is the set from the uh, first edition. And as you can see, it's printed in black and white. There's no color uh, pictures and there's not a lot of uh, graphics um, that are involved. There's some, which is nice, but it's fairly limited. Good historic commentary, though. Um, the other thing is that all the charts for uh, the various activities, stacking, terrain, fire, and defense, were all included in the book itself. So they're actually printed in the book. And so anytime you wanted to refer to that, you had to pick up this book and flip through it and find it. With the uh, newer set, the exclusive rules uh, have the historic commentary and have all the scenario settings, but as you see, it's printed in color. They've got lots of graphics on every page, um, and particularly uh, really nice color graphics that are very pleasant, and it makes the whole thing uh, a much easier read and gives you a nice perspective on uniforms and other things uh, to pay attention to from that era. The other thing that's very nice is that all the charts are now uh, separate from the booklet. So if you want to look at uh, the square table, stacking limits, movement, etc., you can look those up directly from the chart. Um, they've got the charts that are pertinent, printed out in color. 
uh, so that way it makes it easier for you to read and it's more appropriate for what you've seen on the units themselves and uh, all together a much uh, cleaner and a better finish um, with these new charts. We've got a side-by-side -side comparison of the units. The uh, first edition is on the right and the second edition is on the left. You can see the uh, second edition uh, counter has more detail on it including a uh, colored stripe that helps you identify its formation uh, for command control purposes. On the back of the unit, you can see the older uh, counter has a handwritten numbering and the newer one has printed, making it easier to read. In summary, the second edition game is beautiful and an improvement over the first. I hope everyone has a chance to play this game.